Let's go to Polk County now. Schools there, their public school system, their safe stop program. It's come under fire recently for potentially being out of compliance with state law. The partnership between the district and vendor Vera Mobility was announced this spring, equipping all of their school buses with those cameras. But as Fox 13's Carla Byron explains, how the vendor is being paid is what's controversial. More than 500 school buses across Polk County this school year were equipped with cameras to catch drivers illegally passing buses. In July, Superintendent Fred Hyde said the district must do everything possible to keep children safe and to stop drivers from breaking the law. We lost 22 students last year alone to traffic fatalities. That is a number and a situation that none of us want to deal with. The number of viewings and funerals that we've attended this last year is unprecedented. Vera Mobility is the company providing the technology, and they entered into a contract with the district earlier this year. According to The Capitalist, a business policy and politics news website, the original contract called for Vera Mobility to receive $49 for each potential traffic violation sent to law enforcement for review. Such payments are illegal under Florida law, which prohibits private vendors from being compensated based on the number of violations detected by school bus camera systems. Governor Ron DeSantis passed this new law banning private vendors from being paid in this manner this spring. A PCPS spokesperson told Fox 13 they don't believe the original contract is in violation of Florida statute. However, PCPS is committed to ensuring that our contract for this program fully complies with state law. As a result, we are now working with Vera Mobility to negotiate a different payment method that we feel will both satisfy the requirements of state statute and keep this worthwhile program in place. A spokesperson for Vera Mobility says they are complying with the law regarding their contract and that shortly after our agreement was signed, the Florida governor signed legislation allowing for a modified fee structure. We have been working collaboratively with the district to align with their needs and to stay in accordance with legislation. The district intends to have the matter resolved before September 24th, which is when violations are scheduled to begin. In Polk County, Carla Byron, Fox 13 News. Well, the school district's contract with Vera Mobility lasts for five years, but can be renewed for an additional five years afterwards.